about a year ago, we had a crazy idea to drag Jack's dad's old FJ45 out of his nonna's garden and try to restore it to its former glory. By some miracle and with a lot of blood, sweat and tears, mostly sweat. It is hot and sweaty, guys. Hot mess in here today. We actually managed to do it. We took it on little overnighters by ourselves and with Jack's dad before leaving on our second lap of Australia in the Troopy, but we thought Dimples the FJ deserved a bit more time out camping. So join us this week as we really get to see how our car building skills went and we make it our mission to visit the best beach in Australia. But of course, it wouldn't be us without a few mishaps along the way. Oh no, with Bob's. Oh, it's going into the ocean. No, 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 no. Make sure you subscribe to join our adventures every week. Sunshine and the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. I'm gonna let Morning. the sun shine. <laughs> Morning, Jan. How did you sleep? How did you sleep, mate? We made it to Esperance, guys. Well, and two hours east of Esperance, Almost, eh? Almost, yeah. And uh, the FJ had no problems. So that's why we kept driving. And we kept driving. And we kept driving. And uh, we ended up driving probably 13 hours yesterday. We left home at 5.30 in the morning. And we were very worried about the car and how it was going to go, but it just it did the job. And we ended up in paradise last night. And we cannot wait to share it with you. So we got up and watched the sunrise this morning and it was amazing, but it was so cold. So we ended up going back to bed for like an hour and a half till Freezing. the sun came out a bit more. But uh, we found ourselves this little wiki camp site, totally free, dog friendly. It's called JCP campsite on wiki camps. And all of this on the east side of the national park here allowed dogs. Ollie's very happy to be here, aren't you buddy? Is that gonna work? Can he you help me like out? He looks like an absolute horse next to you. <laughs> all right, there you go. Okay. Done. You want some breakfast? You good boy? Breaky yeah. time? Breakfast. Words be spoken and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. And before, it was so funny when he first got onto the sand. If you don't know, the sand around Esperance squeaks when you walk on it. I think it's something to do with the silica in the sand or something. I have to fact check that. But he was so confused by the squeaking. Oh, now he's digging. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, so Classic. funny. But anyway, as much as we would love to just sit here in the sunshine all day, we do have some big grey clouds. We've got some massive clouds. Coming over. So I think we have one day to really explore as much as we can around here. So I think we'll get packed up and get going. Whoa, the tide's coming up. Uh, how are we getting <laughs> out of here? <laughs> all right, so we didn't think about this. But I think it's still pretty hard. What about this way though? Yeah, there's a lake, there's a lake over there and you have to go on the beach to bypass it. Oh. To then get out. I think we'll be alright. It's very intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what the weather wants to do today. It's hot, then it's cold, then it's windy, but it's still nice. Welcome to Esperance. <laughs> Welcome to Esperance. Right. A few little pre-checks under the bonnet there. So remember this car has not been any further than three hours away from Perth for the last 20 years. And yesterday it did its first 12 hour drive in 20 years, so pretty crazy if you think about it. All right, a couple of the old pumps on the accelerator, moment of truth. <laughs> it always amazes me when it starts. No problems, it sounds beautiful. Stay started. If I let go of the accelerator, it will not. Ah, sand fly. <laughs> get in, don't let them in. All right, let's go. All right, so the tide is up, and this is where we got a little bit bogged last night. So 
So hopefully we don't get bogged again. Oh gosh. Let's not forget we have Ollie in the back Shit. as well. <laughs> We're bogged. Really? Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. There we go. We're out. The V8 helps so much. It is crazy. Okay. This looks sketchier though. When we were coming in last night, it was pretty late and we couldn't really see where we were going. Yeah. But we should be all right today in the light. We've got the tyres down to 10 psi. Look at this beach. It's amazing. It's incredible. No, we're bogged. We're actually bogged. Uh oh. I didn't bring his shovel. Come have a look at this. To the dip. <laughs> oh no. Classic. That is soft as well. I stopped and I shouldn't have stopped. Why did you do that? <laughs> Alright, hang on, I'll get the max out. Alright. So I've dug out the diff. The rear leaf springs, front leaf springs. This is the second max track to go in. Should be okay. We should pop straight out. We've got the tires down to 10. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I think it's not bad considering this is the first time we've ever been properly boxed. <laughs> God, that is stuck. You right? Uh -huh. Did the max tracks dig right in? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You got it. Good job. Max tracks, mate. They are the best. <laughs> Let's not let that happen again. <laughs> Real quick, we want to say a big thank you to Snap Wireless for sponsoring today's video and helping us get back on the road in Dimples. For those who don't know, Snap Wireless is an Aussie-owned brand helping you power your journey. They have an amazing range of stylish charging devices to help keep you powered on the go. For our road trip in Dimples, we got ourselves the Power Pack Universal, which is a five-in-one travel power bank. This little travel buddy has a 10,000 mAh capacity, or if you're like me and have no idea what that means, it can charge your phone between two to three times. It offers USB-A, USB-C, and wireless charging along with built-in lightning and USB-C charging cables. It's also ready to go overseas with you with easily interchangeable PowerPoint adapters and a perfectly designed travel pack. If you're keen to check it out for yourself, Snap Wireless has given us a 10% discount to share with you guys and you can find the link to that in the description below. Let's get back to the vlog. Ollie's all right. Whenever that stuff like that happens, you, you get like an adrenaline rush, eh? Yeah. really feel it. Oh my gosh. I never get into this car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. We still can conquer that bit there. Well, I, I just reversed back, so it should be all right. Okay, I think that is all of the hard bits done. It's just a bit rocky now getting out, which That's it. with this, uh, what is it, suspension? Leaf springs. It's not the best, but we'll manage. Hard bits over, but <laughs> these cars do not go well in rocky situations or corrugated roads. They are the worst. It may be because we've got old suspension, but Overland Travelers, um, if you haven't watched their videos, go check them out. They have traveled a lot of the country in an old FJ Troopy. And they did a road call up to Mitchell Falls on the Gibb River Road. We didn't even do in the Troopy and my hat goes off to them. That is a good job, guys. So much respect. Insane. So much respect for you guys. Even on the drive yesterday, the noise inside oh my God. the car was just insane. We were taking turns with our one pair of noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> we weren't listening to any music. We're just trying to cancel out some of the noise. And it was then... So funny. A, a truck flew past at a hundred and god knows what kilometers and the roof almost flew off and we almost had a heart attack so and then we, over and we tightened the roof and then the noise got significantly quiet oh, so crazy. we think that's probably was part of the problem in a car like this you are 100 percent guaranteed an adventure yeah like it's going to be exciting 
whether you break down, you get it fixed, all, all kinds of things are going to happen. Yeah. Okay, on to the next beach. Beach number two. Is it still windy? It's windy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we saw a sign for Little Wharton Beach and we thought maybe because it's on the opposite end we might be a bit sheltered from the wind. So we could go for a swim. Apparently not. You can do it, you can do it. Come oh down. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is it coming? No. What do you mean, no? <gasps> it's against the wind and the battery is stopping it. Oh, I've just hidden behind the cove, actually. Oh my gosh. I'm behind the big, oh my God. Oh my God. Aircraft landing in current location after. Oh no. <gasps> no. No. Oh, it's going into the ocean. No, 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 no. Why are you doing that? Are you di directing it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It's going there. Your joke. Where is that? Okay, it's landing. Okay. It's landed. Where? No, no, no. Can we still see the blue dot? Is it, oh my no, god, is it rolling go. off the hill? No, 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 we're going to get that. <laughs> okay, I ran back up to the car because we just left Ollie up here and my door was like open. I <laughs> ran out in such a hurry. Jax has gone down to the rocks around the cove to hopefully retrieve the drone. I'm just watching this pathway, just hoping that he comes back up with the drone in his hand. Oh my gosh, does he have the drone? He's got it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, that's such a relief, oh my gosh. <laughs> Not just for the drone, but for the SD, because we've been taking some really cool shots today and I really wanted to be able to share them with you guys. Got it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh my god. <laughs> Where was it? Right down near all the surface. <laughs> it was like, it was along this trail. Oh yeah. It was landed in a good, plot, in a good spot. Lucky. Oh my god. Okay. Food? This is my mala. <laughs> Chipotle is mala. <laughs> yeah, we'll go get some food. So uh, we're not eating rolls out there, Megan. <laughs> you ain't having a picnic out there, buddy. Oh, we're at the uh, Esperance Wharf, where the uh, ships come in here, and we're gonna have a nice picnic, but... Well, I mean, not really a nice picnic. It was a last minute decision picnic, because we're starving. Fix your little fringe up. And um, we're definitely not gonna make it to camp. No. Uh, without murdering each other of hangriness, because that's still two hours away, I think. Yeah. So that's the only thing about um. I well, mean, we were having fun on the beach. Yeah, yeah, but um. Losing drones. Yeah, that's the only thing about finding camps, not only with Ollie but also in a swag, 
Yeah. So that was probably the closest one I could find that would allow both. Yeah, so we still got to set the awning up because it's going to rain and we have to have the swag under the awning as well. Okay. And it is windy. Sometimes. So. Anyway, that's all going to happen in the dark. So yeah. I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, if we don't see it tonight, we'll see you in the morning. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we were excited to show you this next spot. But anyway. We'll show you in the morning. start to this morning we we're just waiting for the wind and the rain to stop which now the sun is out in full force so it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day but uh, slow start to today and now it's sort of getting a bit chaotic because we're getting kicked out of our site so, early so from some by someone in a troopy <laughs> Well, Maybe right. if we were still in the tree pit, it might have gone a bit differently yes it would have <laughs> but uh, welcome to chaos this morning guys we've got S-H-I-T everywhere. Oh, that was the other thing as well. Poor little Ollie Bear's been sick overnight. Yes, we um, found out something new about Ollie. He lets you know when he's sick. Yeah, he was crying. He got up to go to the toilet about three times last night and then he ended up in the swag with us yeah. because we just felt so bad for him. We, Poor little buddy. He's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> but we got the opportunity today to test out the EcoFlow solar panels, which we've got set up and they're very in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and it's cranking in 200 and... 70 watts right now so we woke up with 33 percent battery i didn't have it plugged in while we were driving yesterday i forgot to plug it in so we woke up with 33 percent left on the battery and i was charging the laptop and megan was charging the laptop while we we're driving so we really stuffed up there but we've only got two hours till the unit is fully charged again so far i'm very happy with it so that's going good we ended up bringing the toilet as well forgot to tell you we got a comment there it is there we got a comment on our Patreons. <laughs> uh, we got a comment on our Patreons asking if we're bringing the toilet. We weren't going to, and then lucky we got that comment because then I decided to bring it and we've used it because yeah. the toilets here are disgusting. Well, they're not that bad, but I mean, they're pretty bad. I'd rather use one without flies yeah. coming out of it. So yeah, and so far Ollie's bed's been fine. These drawers are working fine. Still not happy with this. Not happy at all with that bend we got with it. The fridge. It's better, though. It's better. I we we, it. <laughs> we Megan fix it. She did a good job. But the fridge is going fine. It's all it's all pretty good. We're pretty happy with it, eh? Yeah, it's just an adjustment. Yes. Getting used to setting all of this up and then I don't know why we literally never arrived to camp in the dark in the yeah. troopy and now that we've got this setup that's a lot more difficult to set up, we've been arriving in the dark. Yeah. So that and also getting used to like living in the elements a bit more like yesterday when we're we were forced. getting attacked by the wind and sand flies we probably just would have sat in the troopy but yeah it's sort of it's sort of good in a way because it, it like is. makes you be more present in nature which is always good and everything's going well yeah so far could use a shower today yeah we gotta go have a shower <laughs> we gotta we gotta go have a shower we stink Starvation Bay Campground and it was pretty good and right next to that beautiful beach as well but we think we found free hot okay. talking Sorry to the vlog it doesn't <laughs> idle very well <laughs> we thought we we think we might have found free hot showers in the next town over but it's uh, about 40 minutes of this dirt track so we're gonna let the tires down and fingers crossed we got some free hot showers coming our way oh, good to be true big brothers always feel <laughs> what? so they're cold showers and there's no door on the shower so oh my god too good to yeah. be true yeah and i've yeah i think i need a shower have a look at this these bad boys welling up don't mind my hairy legs that's another reason i need a shower megan's um, got a very bad sand fly bite yeah but it's it's itchy everywhere man. you know what's good about this car it gets warm when you drive it. Yeah. Like the, the heat radiates through I the know. engine bay. And I love feeling hot. It's the best. <laughs> so another reason I don't want to come down. Yeah. On another <laughs> note as well, it's becoming very hard with Ollie. 
It's not. Well, it's not, I mean, it's not making so him feel bad. He's sick enough as it is. Mr. Negative over here. Yeah, no, um, it's just no, it's there is a lot of beautiful beach camps along here, but uh, no dogs allowed at any of them. And for those who haven't been to WA, I'm not sure if it is an Australia-wide thing or just a WA thing, but we do notice it a lot more in WA. It's not just because people don't want dogs down the beach. They bait. It is, yeah, there's poison that can actually kill the dogs. They so. poison meat and they... they try and get the foxes and whatnot to yeah. bite it but anyway uh, so what are we doing mate i guess we'll just yeah just try and find a camp and we'll see you guys in the next video tell us how your day is in the comments yeah we always love to know how your day is yeah <laughs> see you later bye happy easter is it easter time i don't know by the time this goes <laughs> live it might be yeah happy easter if it's easter see you later thanks for ah! <laughs> Where is this? It's there, look at him, little s**t.